guys, I am doing this hair tutorial today. I missed you guys. Anyways, this is a beautiful zigzag curly, really voluminous. If you want to know how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching right now. Okay, so, oh, I'm going fast. I am brushing out all of my knots and separating it into sections. I'm starting it from ear to ear and then starting to work on the section that's down below. Um, again, going over and brushing it. Now the tool that I am, there we go, that's the tool that I'm using. I'm using it sideways. I know some of you are probably looking at it like, what in the world is that? That is the Bombshell Oval Curling Iron from Sultra, Sultra, okay? And I'm just holding on my hair to it. You really don't need to hold your hair on long enough. I mean, too long, I'm sorry. But you just need to hold it on long enough so it'll curl, but I promise you it's very quick and simple. Um, what I did was basically have the oval edges sticking out and folding my hair around in that. So wrapping, there we go, <laughs> wrapping my hair around that just to create that really retro zigzaggy look. Okay, that's basically what I'm doing. And you can see I'm really not holding my hair on too long because it does heat up to at least 360 degrees and that is very hot. <laughs> But, yeah, there we go. And I'm just trying to work fast, guys, because I know, you know, no one wants to sit here and watch me do this for like 10, 15 minutes. That's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm just going to continue to wrap that around. You can see I'm kind of getting a little impatient already. I am so impatient. But... Yeah, so basically just wrapping it around the edges is just going to create that really crazy zigzag look. You'll notice it more in pictures um, rather than the video. I don't know why, but my lighting was just completely off. I don't know why lately I've been recording and some of my videos are looking pink. Anyways, I'm working on to the next section. I'm just going to fast forward it all. You know, wrapping the, uh, the hair that I'm not using behind. Again, folding it over the edges of the iron. Now... If some of you have not heard of an oval curling iron, it is by Sultra. Like I said, you can, I believe you can get it on their website or you can get it at Sephora.com. It's $130. And I honestly have to say it's one of the best curling irons that I have ever used because like, it's just amazing, guys. I really did do some damage to my hair because I bleached it um, to get it like this light reddish color that I have. Um... And when I use this curling iron, it just makes my hair feel so much softer rather than if I use a the typical curling iron from like a drugstore, you know. Um, those tend to kind of, not like fry up my hair, but I will say fry up my hair. Like my ends tend to feel hard when I apply heat on them. So using this one, I, it doesn't do that at all. It actually makes my hair feel softer. So basically the iron, it has... Japanese Kyocera Saran. It's a Kios. I'm sorry. It's a Japanese Kyocera ceramic heater technology, and it tends to mend and defend your hair while you're styling. Which means instead of burning your hair like the typical curling iron or flat iron will do, it actually brings back your hair like its natural softness. Which is pretty weird. You would never think that a heating tool would do that, but this one actually does. And I'm telling you guys, it really truly does work because um, my hair is just, for a moment there, it was completely fried. Now I'm just working on the back section, but I'm um, back to the, oh, and you see how like I'm just twirling it around? I'm basically doing that more towards like the root of my hair to help give it more volume. That's going to give you more volume when you push it closer to the root. That's what I'm trying to show you. But I don't know what's up with my lighting. Yeah, that's all I'm basically doing, guys. And then I'm just twirling some of the pieces more towards the front to make it more bouncy and add a little bit more definition rather than all of the curls going into the same direction. Okay. That's exactly what we're doing. I don't know why I look so mad. Oh. And I'm just going back and curling little pieces that I've missed 
Now I'm just spraying it with some hairspray. This is the one from Garnier Fructis. I am obsessed with that hairspray. I love it. Ugh, too much hairspray there. So now you can leave it like this. It leaves you really bouncy and stuff. And uh, no, I'm not doing that because my head and stuff is too big. So I'm just running my fingers right through the hair. And honestly, guys, like I said, it's really soft, so you're able to spread them around and not make it doesn't make your hair look frizzy. And I believe that's because of the Japanese Kyocera in it. I'm telling you guys, the, the social line is amazing, 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 amazing. Okay, so now just continuing to pull some of the curls. Oh, kisses for you. And now you can leave it like this. Oh, oh. Oh, but, or, with a butt, or you can add a big bow like that, if for some of you who like the snooky look, there you go, um, add some femininity, femininity, what, see, there you go, you can add a bow like that to add really girliness, but no, I do not wear bows, you can wear something like that if you're more edgy, a studded, um, headband, I got that one from Sephora for like seven or three dollars, I love it. Um, gives you more like that edgy bohemian type of look. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you could do that. But, no, I have another idea. You can wear this really pretty golden headband. Um, I really like this headband because I feel like it just makes everything look more glamorous, especially if you wear like all white or something like that. I mean, you can wear this hairstyle like all types of ways. It all depends on how you accessorize with your hair. Yeah, I'm just adding more hairspray to fluff it up just a bit more. And that's how that would look. But... Because I'm going to work. <laughs> I took it off and I just decided to add more hairspray to really, really boost up the volume. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. So that's what the finished look looks like. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. And that's it. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.